Come on. Let me get in the game. Alright, looks like we got a game. Hi everybody, my name is Nemo. Um, if this guy will start, I'll be playing my Selesnia Rush deck. It's a white green deck and as the name implies, it's an aggro deck. So, uh, you, you want to get this started or do I need to make a cut here until I finally find a game? No, we're going. Alright. So in case you guys missed it, uh, the 8th promo card, promo code uh, is out. I don't have enough land for this hand, I don't think. I need double green for this guy. Uh, I mean, well, I play most of it to get a land. Um, but this guy is a little bit of a stretch here. Um, I only have one good guy to get with that, and it's 5 cost, so let's draw a new hand. Alright, I guess I'll keep this. I mean, I got my wing condition in the enlarge here, but still need that second forest here. Um, so many cards with double green costs here. I'm pretty sure I'm also running some double whites, but uh, not really getting them. So the 8th promo card... Promo... <laughs> keep saying it wrong. The 8th promo code for uh, promo cards is uh, is finally, finally arrived. Ah, you're supposed to be a forest, dude. What you doing? What you doing there? What up with that? Um, let's give him a good luck and fun. And uh, it's a good thing that the eighth promo code is finally here, and I'm hoping the others are gonna come in uh, in short order because uh, we got news about the expansion, which is gonna come on the 18th of this month, September. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but I'm really hoping the promo cards, the promo codes, a little bit of that, from pro, 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 promo codes are gonna be unlocked, uh, by, uh, are gonna be already available, whatever, by that time, um, so I can at least have like a few days to play with all the promos. Um, no blocks here. It's all you. Uh, good thing I have the answer to his vigilance there. But, uh, yeah, so new decks we're gonna get, um, you're supposed to be a forest too, what you doing? So uh, new decks we're getting, we're getting a Lords of Darkness deck, which we don't really know anything about yet. Um, it, it, judging by, I think it's a mono black deck though. And judging by the name, you'd expect something like Demons. Uh, hopefully a control deck, kind of like uh, Liliana's deck in 2013, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, we also know about, um, let's see, the Izzet deck, which is Dodge and Burn. Which, you know, as far as Izzet names go, that's pretty sweet, I gotta say. Uh, hopefully a good control deck. I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping for a good Izzet deck this time around. Um, that would be sweet. So he's got two of those dudes. Ugh. There's my open form. Mm. Should I just open form up my dude and stay back and hope he, you know, doesn't have removal? If he shocks me, then I'm pretty sad. I mean, the other route to take is to play the Dawn Strike Paladin and like try double block or something. Um, guess I'm gonna have to go with the open form. I don't really like the whole, uh, you know, drop an enchantment on my dude this early into the game. Um, just leads to him probably having a removal spell for it, in which case I'm sad. So, um, and we gotta stay back as well, so that allows him, you know, this extra draw step to draw that removal spell. Otherwise, I could have gotten in for five, maybe before he he'd been able to remove it. On the other hand, there is the uh, white removal spell that only gets rid of an attacker, but doesn't get rid of my dude if it's you know, staying back. So there's that. Um, wow. Pretty sure my land distribution for this deck is correct, so uh, that's pretty unfortunate here. I don't really even see a reason to play the planes at this point. Yeah, there's just no reason. There is no reason to play the planes. Uh, so do I attack? Because he's coming back in. Yeah, I guess I do. So it only... Just tap one of those. Because if he wants to block with the Griffin, I'm I'm happy about that. Um, like he only deals me one damage extra on top of what the Griffin is gonna deal me um, by by being able to bring those two. So 
thing is, of course, removal would, would definitely suck. I mean, he has 10 damage right here in, the, in these two, in these three guys. So that's not bad for him. I'd really love to just be able to play enlarge on this dude and get a whole bunch of life gain going. That'd be sweet. And force him to block as well. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. Nope. What the... I'm just gonna pretend that um, that's not happening because it's, it's really annoying. It is really annoying. Alright, so he can easily double block here and all I can really do is kill one of them. But, yeah. Kind of forced to do something. Because if I just stay back he's gonna whack me in the face with his flyers. I mean, it just sucks. So, yeah. I mean, that, that honor of the pure is doing a lot of work for him here. It's defi it definitely is. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the volcanic dragon. So, what, what is this? Uh, four, six, ten. There you go. There you go. Let's uh, have a GG ready for when he finally figures that one out. Uh, so, the other deck... Um, the other decks, we got a Hall of Champions deck, which is banned, which is white, blue, green. Are you, are you gonna attack, dude? What? There we go. GG. Alright, figured it out. <laughs> and it's uh, an exalted mechanic deck, so we gotta we gotta live with the whole um, the whole triggering of all those abilities yet again, like we did in 2013 with the exalted darkness deck. But yeah. The band deck is called Hall of Champions, in case I forgot to mention the name earlier. Let's give Celestia Rush another chance, because all I really needed was a forest there. It was just stupid that I didn't draw it. Well, given the way the last game went, I'm definitely not keeping this hand. Well, hey, I got two forests. Look, look at this. Now I'm just going to drop planes, I already know it. Um, Yeah, no, this hand is too expensive. Okay, well... I can I can live with this. I can live with this. Um I'm gonna assume I'm drawing forest now. Just just gonna assume that, so I'm gonna drop my forest first. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, another exa exalted deck, which you know, there's some pretty sweet stuff in there. Uh looks like the deck, since it's a free color deck, um I I'd I'd say that, you know, uh it's probably gonna run best if if there's a possibility to actually make it into uh, into some kind of mid range kind of deck, but it doesn't really look like it wants to be a mid range deck. So there are some bombs there, but I didn't really. Well, there is some good removal, I guess. It has four band charms, so I don't know. Maybe it's possible. Um, not sure yet, but I'm gonna say that you know, since it's a free color deck. And it relies heavily on a mechanic that doesn't always work too well. Um, I'd say that you know you, you probably want to make it into a, into a mid range deck. Just my gut instinct there. Um, do one trade? Yeah, we'll we'll trade because I know he has mo multiple slivers. At least I've seen multiples of these sentinel slivers, and I'm pretty sure this is my only sliver or something like that. Um, I don't have a lot of them, so. So, the other deck is, uh, we got an elf deck, Sylvan Knight, which is a mono green deck, the third mono green deck for this, uh, for this game, which is kind of, kind of silly, but, um, as far as, you know, what it does, it basically does the same thing that, uh, do I really spare mentally? I don't think so, no, I'm gonna wait with that, it looks like this game might take a while, so. I'd rather him uh, spend his removal if he has any, but I haven't seen a single removal spell, I think, from his deck. <laughs> That's just weird, but yeah, I'm totally fine trading those. Totally fine with that. Um, so yeah, as far as what the deck is doing, the, the Silver Knight deck I was talking about, um, it basically does the same thing that Pack Instinct is trying to do, except it probably does a better job of it. So um, It has a lot of weenie elves, and it tries to overwhelm the opponent with... All those elves and a bunch of buff spells and uh, elves making other elves bigger and it's kind of ridiculous um, the amount of good elves that it has. So 
You know those red lands open there? I don't like that. Um, I'm pretty sure I cut off the audio in mid-sentence there because, well, my phone went off. <laughs> so, unfortunately. I do have it on silence mode, but um, it's laying on a wooden table, so that's gonna make that's gonna make an awful an awful ruckus. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, the elf deck. It's got a lot of elves. It's got elves that make the elves bigger. It's got some pump. Um, so yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, and lastly, we got a Boros deck, which is white red. Um, samurai and equipment deck and legendary, I guess, is also a sub theme of it. Um, so yeah, samurai equipments, uh, legendaries. That's basically what it's going to be about. And it's a white red deck, so it's got lightning helixes. Um, looks pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, it has the bushido. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that correctly. Probably not. I'm probably totally. Ah, uh, he. No, okay, that's a spirit mantle. Fought for a second that he pacified my dude <laughs> as well. But nope, just the spirit mantle there. So it has the Bushido uh, mechanic, which is the mechanic of the samurai. Which is... Um, uh, the guys, the creatures are generally um, have a lower power toughness ratio. Oh, that just sucks. The creatures have a lower power toughness ratio than um, than normal for their cost, but they have Bushido, which uh, gives them uh, Bush. Most of them have Bushido one, but you can have higher. Um, it, it can be different than that. Um, I don't want to Fiend Hunter that because then if he kills the Fiend Hunter, yeah, since it has the haste, it's immediately able to attack again, and it sucks that um, this happened because now. I have to stay back because my life total is lower than his. So. Otherwise, I could could attack there. Anyways, uh, the Bushido mechanic um, lets them basically uh, gives them plus one, plus one if they have Bushido one, uh, plus two, plus two if they have Bushido two, etc. Uh, and uh, they get that plus one, plus one um, while in combat with another creature, whether it's blocking another creature or. Attacking another creature. E.g. this is pretty good here. Nice. His, his deck just totally doesn't run any removal it seems. It's just like a kind of slow aggro deck. Um, but yeah, so uh, the way that works, um, because you don't get the plus one plus one counters when they don't block you and you just, your damage goes directly to their head. Well, you're kind of useless when I have the spider out. I only have one spider and one plummet, I'm pretty sure, in this deck for that reason, so. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's. Let's attack with the spider, I guess. Well, this is spider too, so that, that's not very descriptive, descriptive, is it? And this guy has protection from creatures, um. Yeah, I'd be ahead in the race, so... Well, I don't know. If he wants a triple block here, I'm more than happy. Although, I guess he would just... Yeah, no, I should have done it anyways. Because now he can just throw this in front and, you know, not to have to take the damage. And he knows the guy is dead anyway. But that does leave me open the mana to also play the Fiend Hunter. So, I guess that wouldn't be too bad. Um, but the way Bushido works, since, you know, if they just take the damage, um, then it doesn't trigger, and you dudes are usually a little um, uh, less powerful than other dudes without the Bushido triggering. That means that it kind of lends itself well to be a mid-range kind of deck, even though it has a lot of weenie creatures, so it kind of looks like it's not a mid-range deck. Um, crap. I'm missing a land... Here, do uh... yeah. Crap, 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 crap. So I have to plummet it. 
because I'm missing a land. That was pretty nice for him. So it kind of seems to lend itself well to be a mid-range deck rather than an aggro deck, even though it has a lot of uh, weenies, small creatures in there. Um, so that's kind of interesting. We'll, we'll see how that um, ends up working. Now let's focus on the match. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, um... I think I attack with this guy and leave the other guy back here. It would really suck if he draws another uh, another stave off. Let's assume that he doesn't though. And I need to kill him anyways, at some point at least. Keeping the mana open for the Silk Lash Spider again. Honor of the Pure. Yep, I am trying to... Not that it matters, but... trying to do that I guess uh, you know it's better to wait anyways until during combat but the fact that it didn't let me pause the timer makes me not want to wait for that um, may do that again so All right well this just allows me to kill one um, well I guess, I guess it's better to kill the one with vigilance uh, it takes me to two here which I guess his deck probably runs shock so it's probably a good move on his side for that reason. Um, Alright. So. I guess we're attacking with both here. Because I kill him in. Uh, you know next turn I'll kill him then. And I've got the Sentinel Sniver. Sentinel Sniver. Yeah. Sentinel Sniver. It's such a snivering bastard. Um, <laughs> got the Sentinel Sliver. And I have the Fiend Hunter, which I can now play since I don't need to keep mana open for the whole shenaniganry with the spider anymore. See, I almost just want to do this, but just in case he has that stave off. But then if he has removal for the Fiend Hunter, screw it anyway, so... You know, you never know what it's going to be. The only thing is I've seen the stave off, haven't seen much removal. Or any for that matter, so... But I, I'm guessing here does run shock. Um, yeah, I'm guessing this is just the GG here. Alright. That's no need for uh, playing that just yet. Let's just bring everybody just in case. You never know. See you. All right, um, let's let's do another game with this guy. It's uh, one for one now, and, and wins and losses with this. So, with this matchup, so let's do another one, and let's see how that goes. Hopefully, a drama forest. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good start. Let's keep it. I'm almost tempted to get the uh, the white for the stave off. Um, yeah, no, I'm just, oh, it's actually kind of tough choice here, um, I probably should get the white for the stave off, see, I can't remember if I run more double green guys or double white guys, but so far I've been screwed on the forest, at least the first game, so I'm gonna get my forest. And I've been drawn a lot more double green guys than double white. I, I don't think I've drawn anything with double green yet. So maybe I am only draw, uh, running double double green creatures. Aside from that angel, of course. Yeah, seven cost one, which I didn't need last game, even though I could actually play it. Um. So yeah. Lighting a cigarette. Just a normal cigarette. Um, he's playing black all of a sudden. Oops. Well, I flashed that to him, didn't I? Um, okay, yeah, here's the problem. I want land mana open for stave off if I'm going to be throwing my eggs into into a basket. Into any kind of basket. You know, just one, one extra egg there, but... Um, yeah, I, I'd like to have another land, uh, 
I'd like to draw that so I can open form and then stave off my dude. Um, I'd also like to be able to play my charging griffin, even though I know he's probably gonna kill it and make me randomly. Oh, oh! I needed the double white. Uh, um, wanna trade, dude? You wanna trade? Cause I'm happy to trade. I'm happy to trade. Yeah, no, didn't think so. Um, of course, the fact that I didn't play open form, he's definitely just gonna randomly discard like open form and stave off here, which makes that a bad play. Um, but I'm hoping he just gets rid of Dawn Strike Paladin. That that would be perfect for me. Can we get the Dice Show discard? No. No, we can't. And there's my double white. Who, who do I have to punch here? <laughs> Alright, so let's get in there though. Let's, um, I guess Fiend Hunter to do it, even though I know he's got removal, but that goes, that goes for the Charging Griffin too. Um, yeah, whatever, Fiend Hunter to do it, and if he doesn't remove this time, then I got the stave off later. But um, the fact that he didn't play anything, he's got four lands open there. I mean, I don't know what that says. Unless he's planning to use remove or something. Or he just doesn't have a play. Or he just does not have a play. Alright, looks like he's gonna let my uh, Fiend Hunter live. Which means I gotta keep Stavok open for the rest of the game pretty much. At least uh, the near future. Which means I can't play Charging Griffin here. Which means I can't attack with any of my dudes. Do nothing. Um, you know what, since they have two charging griffins, screw the stave off. He didn't have the removal last turn. Um, given my luck so far, he's gonna draw it now. <laughs> but I still have another uh, charging griffin, so. Hey, look at that. He's, he's, he's running blue in his, in his pile. It's kind of unfortunate that he switched decks. I don't know, may maybe you guys prefer seeing you know, me play it against different decks, but uh, we did have a sort of a best of three. About time. I know the feeling. Alright, so... Um, we can sort of force it to block the Sentinel Sliver. Um, I'm dealing him three here. Uh, four plus... Uh, Six, it's ten, you know, that, that seems pretty worth it to me. That seems pretty worth it to me. Let's go for it. I could also enlarge this guy and not attack with those, but um, that way they're, they're probably just going to be stuck not doing anything for the rest of the game. Um, since I haven't drawn the pacifism yet and the rest of the game doesn't seem to be lasting that much longer the way this is going so might as well get that extra damage in and now maybe Fiend Hunter can attack later on but no it's gonna get assassinated or that thing yeah either way all right so um hmm there's another land. Yeah, I'm playing the Charging Griffin here. Um, since he has Assassinated in his deck. I don't know. Ah, okay. Essence Scatter. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to attack here. I'm gonna have to attack here. Alright. Uh, guess I may as well drop this. Although he could have discard, maybe that's a, maybe that's a silly idea. I didn't really need the forest for anything, so maybe he should have just kept it in hand. Um, but I haven't seen him discard anything just yet, so guessing he probably doesn't have it anyways. But you know, you never know. So, um, huh? No double blue for the surprise blocking dude. So, um, see what I hate about this. Is that I'm gonna need to play my Dawn Strike? Pub X. Do I do I care? 
I guess I do. But this this kind of just slow rolls it, doesn't it? So I don't know. I mean, this guy kills him faster, and uh, he'd be forced to block with the two-two dude anyways. And there's not a whole lot left in my hand to discard at that point. Although I, it would hate. Well, I could then pacify the two-two, I guess. I don't know. That that's wasting the pacifism as well. Yeah, I guess this is the better play. Um, he's probably gonna, gonna just do that again. Well, that would've been useful last turn. My blues, huh? I'm guessing he needs double blue for most of his stuff anyways. Let's drop the Dawn Strike pedal in here so I have two guys with lethal. And just one. I mean, I don't know. Um, he didn't have removal yet, but I guess if he draws an island, he could then mind spring for uh, for a few cards and get two removal spells, something like that. Um, well, I know the feeling. GG. At least I'm guessing. You know, that's that's sort of his way to say GG. Um, I guess there's no reason to bring both, because if he has a removal spell, he can kill this guy and then block this guy. But, well, that kills his 2-2 uh, two -two flyer. Then. So, that was a reason to bring bring both. <laughs> See ya. Oop, whoa, oop, ah, clicking beside the screen. There we go. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with my uh, Selesnya Rush deck. I'm going to just record a few more videos. So, uh, my name's Nemo. My name will still be Nemo next time. And uh, see you then.